For 30 more seconds, get ready. Hello everyone and welcome to Effect House Creator Hour. Um, if you haven't met me before, I'm Vanessa, one of the community manager here at Effect House. And today uh, for Creator Hour, we have a special person for you um, who is uh, Thomas uh, Astril, who is the twice winner of Global Effect House Challenge. So Thomas, tell us your secret. Um, how, yeah, tell us your secret and tell, uh, maybe you could tell um, the audience a bit more about yourself. Okay. Hello guys, uh, I'm Thomas Asriel. I'm from Indonesia, especially I'm from Jakarta. Uh, my TikTok handle is Thomas Asriel. So I've been creating Evax since 2019 and uh, I start making uh, Evax on TikTok since last year. And mm -hmm. yeah, uh, thank you Vanessa for mentioning about the global winner. So. <laughs> I actively uh, joined the challenge, uh, which ha uh, helped by TikTok. There is so many challenges there. Uh, there is a national ch challenge and also the global challenge. Um, yeah, I think we've got a few um, audience here also from Indonesia. There's Anita, there is uh, Clavania, and then there's Ozzy, as well as our friends from Malaysia, Ko Kwan Hua, some of our regulars like Haley. And I see that uh, the Far Out Mine are also here. Rastia also here. So yeah, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for waking up early or fitting us into your busy, busy schedule. <laughs> um, yeah, Thomas. So you said you've been here. Uh, you've been creating effects for TikTok for a year. Uh, what's your What's your favorite effect that you've have built yourself? Oh, this is the fun <laughs> question. Yep, and I still. <laughs> cannot decide what my favorite one <laughs> because all my my effects are favorite i uh -huh. do the i did the effect uh, with my love all my love <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> i will do 100 to my all effects but if i can choose one i uh -huh. i think i will uh, choose the most hardest uh, the hardest one uh, which is uh, for a challenge for game challenge and mm -hmm. I make I made uh, a mess effect. So the name is Genshin Impact Maze. Yeah. Ah, People I remember that effect. Yeah. yeah. How long did that take you? Oh, I uh, I made that um, for like two weeks. Oh, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks with my girlfriend. So my girlfriend mm -hmm. uh create the maze, and mm -hmm. I create the logic. Ah. Quite painful, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it made your love stronger. <laughs> Cringe. <laughs> um, and when you're making this effects, like how yeah. do you get the inspiration? You know. Mm, okay, so uh, all uh, most of them, my inspiration came from uh, TikTok itself. So I get the inspiration from the uh, FYP. Uh, through mm -hmm. like I watching all the FYP, what is the trend, what's the uh, what is going on in uh, Indonesia, in global, what's the topic, and I convert it into the effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Mm, okay. And do you have anything? Um, what's like the most challenging part of being a creator at Effect House? The most challenging. Um, like, is it the, keeping up with the trends? Is it like keeping up with the latest updates from the tool or what? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I really proud uh, being this community because uh, the Effect House team is running all, all the time like uh they are improving the uh evac house uh evac house that uh it's already like three two point point two uh three three point three all right and mm -hmm. there's a huge feature that we can use but the side effect we as the creator can keep keep up with the updates so we have to like, <laughs> Oh my what's god, there's update. update. What's your yeah. favorite feature so far? The favorite features for myself is physics and colliders because my mm. my uh, uh all all of my uh effects uh are games so mm. it's really love when I really happy when uh, I see the updates from the physics yeah mm, from physics yeah that it, that was a game changer i think it yeah. opens up many possibilities of what you can do with effect yes health. exactly mm -hmm. and is there well did you get to do anything fun by being an effect creator at effect house yes absolutely like mm, i got so much fun from the <laughs> effect creator mm -hmm. and uh like uh, but I think I will uh, tell you the most fun of it. Like when you, uh, when you are a creator and you make an event and the event got popular and all uh, around the world uh, using your event, that's kind of like uh, proud of myself. Like, uh, oh my God, so many people use my events. And yeah. It's so rewarding. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Creator. Uh, something that you are creating are being enjoyed and like other people can relate to your the creative output that you have put out yes, there in the yes. world yep. yeah mm -hmm. and i heard that you are there is you're nominated for something recently Ooh, yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah uh like um in indonesia there there is there will be a tiktok awards nomination and one of the nomination is effect of the years and i got nominated there so please guys vote me <laughs> there <laughs> <laughs> it's called uh, kamus jawa uh, kamus jawa so mm -hmm. um kamus kamus jawa is basically uh, one of the uh, local language in indonesia mm -hmm. so we are uh, we have so many uh, dialects in indonesia uh, in bahasa there is uh, there are 600 dialects local Indonesia uh, language and one of the most uh, used is Jawa, Java, I mean. Japanese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I and, made it and got the nominated. Okay. I think that was really fun because it's almost like educational. It's like a, the effect becomes a learning tool for people to um, try out this, to get to know these languages essentially. Yeah and okay uh i think uh the people are curious um about your effects that you're gonna show us do you want to tell us more um what this effect is about okay so basically uh for so uh basically for this uh for this tutorial i will uh, show you guys about the popular effect that i made before it's called Popcat, but now uh, I will show you for, uh, it's called Tap the Cat. Uh, so basically uh, the game will be like, you tap the screen, tap as many as you can in within 10 seconds. Before that, the pop uh, Popcat, uh, I didn't include the timer. So mm -hmm. now it's upgrading. <laughs> like You're always upgrading. improving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah okay so this is the uh, uh this is the the details of the top the kit so i'm gonna show you uh with the asset uh, asset studio uh sound effects and the scoreboard 
so uh, this is uh, a little bit from me of me yeah so uh, this is the challenge that Vanessa mentioned before it's a global uh, challenge and also um, national challenge and uh, from the challenge itself I also col uh, collaborate uh, do collaboration with other creator from Indonesia and from the other country uh, like Anita like uh, uh, Wigi, yeah, Rasia, yeah. uh, Aji, and many other creators. So, mm -hmm. hi guys uh, from the live chat. They're all here, they're all watching you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've also got Aji and then Steven. Well, thank you for joining. I think it's first time, your know, first time joining, and Sasha from uh, Latin America. So, Ooh. welcome, welcome. And yeah, we're all. Um, so, do you wanna? walk us through the process of yeah. you designing this effect okay okay so this is the uh, popcat uh, that popular uh, back then and this is the newest one the tap the cat and this is the main concept of the game so first uh, you have to record the screen the screen and then there will be a countdown there's three seconds countdown and uh, when the countdowns uh, end, the game will start and then you have to tap screen uh, as many as you can and after you tap the screen uh, there will be three execution here uh, one mm -hmm. is add score and then change the cat texture and then play the sound and also the timer will start after that uh, there is a logic condition if here uh, mm -hmm. there's a addition so if uh, if the timer is less than five seconds the text will turn into orange mm -hmm. but if not uh, it uh, still remain with the, the white mm -hmm. and the time when the timer ends uh, the screen will be black and white and mm -hmm. there is times up text there i think these are really great because it makes the effect so intuitive you know? yeah yeah with the timer and the color uh, change of the screen it it gives you that at five seconds, then you know you have to like really tap super quickly because there are only five minutes, five seconds yes. left. Yes. And then at the end, when the when it ends, then the, it turns black and white. It also lets you know intuitively that the game has ended. And I think this is one of the, uh, I think that's a really great tip, Thomas. <laughs> I hope great everyone's tip. listening. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so what's next? So what's yeah. your process? So this is the main features on, uh, on the game. So you have to, we, we need to uh, the screen tap uh, note script. And mm -hmm. then uh, we have, uh, we need the scoreboard, which is the scoreboard is uh, you uh, created by effect creator team, effect house creator. And this is the, uh, the link guys. So make sure you open the link the scoreboard and you download the sub -rep here yeah and for anyone who hasn't um so we've attached the project file um in the comments so if you want to follow along and do it as um, thomas is working on it you can as well and we'll send you the um scoreboard tutorial um in yeah. this comment section okay yeah. okay sorry keep going yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, the next one is like uh, the main feature is asset library and studio so i gonna teach you how to use the uh the newest ai uh, effect house feature which is mm -hmm. asset studio so basically we can generate uh image from the text like uh, in the example we can uh generate uh, a hamburger pixelated uh -huh. curtain from the text which uh, really helpful it's really helpful mm -hmm. for me that cannot draw <laughs> or like, cannot like, <laughs> make some certain images yeah and the last yeah, yeah. i think um this is a really great addition the ai asset library and the ai asset studio and the asset library it helps any creator um that comes in and and afraid uh, and they they're not sure what uh how to create those creative assets these tools are really perfect for them to get them started yes exactly thank yeah. you ever costume <laughs> and okay. the last one is sound effect so uh like i mentioned before when we tap the screen it uh it will play some 
uh, events. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is the link, guys. So make sure you can uh, scan it, the QR code, or uh, if you want to try the effect first, so you can imagine what will I make. And then this is the effect file. So you can mm -hmm. uh, scan or type the link here. OK, I think that's all. Uh, I think we can go through the uh, effect house directly. Let's get this started. Okay. Okay, so uh, when you open, okay, I will open from the scratch here. I mean, like from the beginning. So I'm using the Effect House 3.2 here, uh, and the project itself is uh, 3.2. So make sure you uh, already download the latest. I think the latest is 3.3. .3. So not the latest one, but yeah. So open the project here, and then uh, as you can see, I already made the graph here. I also grouped them into three big parts here. So mm -hmm. this is a tree, and there's a colorize here. So the first one is the start game, and the second one is tap screen and add score. And the last one is for the timer, and also this uh when the game is finished or end so um i will uh break into the hierarchy first and then the assets then the last one is visual scripting sounds good mm -hmm. okay so uh in the hierarchy you just need to um to use the 2d 2d um 2d screen image here so I group also for the UI, from the score, for the timer, and also from the object. Object means like the ground here, the ground and the cap. Uh, timer and score will use the same subgraph, which is um, so scoreboard subgraph. And for the UI, it's just like the countdown and the title. Countdown is like, oh, there's no uh, example here. Uh, countdown and title and after the um, game is over there's a filter the loot the vintage uh loot let me show you oh not this one i think this one yeah this one so uh when the when the game is over like uh, the screen will be uh black and screen like this and this is for the times up text let, mm, let me Okay, this is the times up text. So uh, next one, I will uh, teach you how to use the asset uh, library and asset studio. So here there is uh, the countdown, the scoreboard, and to use your uh, to use the asset asset studio, uh, you can uh, click the add asset here, and then click in asset studio. So here you can convert any text, uh, like uh, you want to create a cat. You can like just type the text here and then click generate it. So for example, you can use uh, a yellow cat. But the more um, the more, more detail the um, prompt you give yes. this, the more, the better, right? Yes, exactly. So uh, I just uh, type the, a yellow cat, so it will generate it a yellow cat. But what if I uh, want make uh, it more um, cute? And yeah, so you just type uh, a yellow and more descript uh, descriptive text, a yellow, uh, cute, and maybe fat because fat <laughs> fat cat is a cute also. So, but we can in... really agree that. <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So, <laughs> when when you when you um uh, are more specific with the tax uh, and you generate it, it will be more specific uh, um, image actually. So in here you can as you can see there's a cute fat yellow uh, cat. And if you want to uh, add some expression, you can also do that. So a happy yellow cute fat when you generate it and 
you can uh, specify like uh, what it's doing like is it is it sitting or walking you can also type in uh, the text actually uh, if you like stuck with the um, descriptive uh, text i found a uh, effective um, tools guys wait a minute so basically i used to this uh, ai tool to generate the ai text <laughs> so basically using ai to mm -hmm. use ai so here so you're using ai text tool to generate text for the ai this for the description for yes, your ai exactly. image generator <laughs> yeah oh wow <laughs> so, uh, the, uh like th this is the example so i made uh the pre uh, previous one like i make uh, indonesian evac for indonesian Ind independence day mm -hmm. so i got stuck mm -hmm. with the descriptive uh text so i just type it make mm -hmm. a prompt for ai image generator with indonesian hero keywords so the ai will generate it the text like all the things here wow. so you just need to copy paste here into your uh this one the placeholder here the text yes exactly yeah. and then uh after that you can uh just um choose what uh, where whatever you want uh which which cat do you want to save and then click import uh mm -hmm. another i need to mention is uh in the in the right there's a setting and then there's a generation step and prompt strength the prompt strength means like the more uh the the more like the higher uh the higher the higher the prompt strength yeah the, the prompt more... strength it will more uh details on this text not on yeah. the ai itself so, so the it, higher the prompt strength the more um detail or like more uh, like, like yeah the likeness so, the mm -hmm. higher likeness it is for the asset that are generated um, yes 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 the, yeah. according to the text yeah. Mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah it it will make the cat uh even cuter right <laughs> because <laughs> like i i uh i the one on the, the top i think is a fox now <laughs> i'm not sure it's a cat anymore <laughs> yeah yeah so. um yeah i think rastia just complimented how neat your visual scripting uh, <laughs> is <laughs> how do you keep it so neat thomas uh it's just because for the live tutorial <laughs> 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 so people, <laughs> behind the scenes yeah scene, yeah Pe here, people that. who uh, who is working with me previously uh know mm -hmm. uh, my official scripting <laughs> <laughs> yeah your collaborators yeah yeah um, yeah so dicky here is asking how do you make a variation of a single image oh sorry it's okay let's see for i just do it quick uh sorry can you repeat the question uh Diki is asking if you can make a variation of a single image so for example you've selected one of the images is there oh. any way for you to make variation of it oh um, unfortunately in fx house we cannot do that now mm -hmm. but yeah that's a good feedback Diki. i think um that's something we can um yeah, yeah. suggest for future mm. updates. yeah because now uh we can only uh use for the generated uh here then yeah. we can import it not not we can extend like uh create the variation we cannot do that here mm -hmm. right now okay all right what's the next step we're all okay. holding our breath <laughs> <laughs> so the next one if you already um generated the uh image here so actually the image here the texture that i uh use is also generated from the uh asset studio also <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah here the the cat are happy and sad so it's yeah. slightly different a little bit different but yeah it's fine and then the thing that i want to mention is for the asset library so here the asset library you can also uh, download uh all the all you need here uh, like example, I 
I download the countdown from here. So if you can see, you can go to the 2D here, and then there's a countdown three to one. So you can use this uh, texture. It's provided by the effect house team. And also there's a visual scripting here. You can also uh, just import and apply in your project. You can really tell that you read all our release notes. You know, all the <laughs> latest updates. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, Asset Studio, Mature Library, as well as some, um, yeah. Okay. There, there, yeah, there, there's so many, there's so many features. There's so many assets that uh, effect house provide here materials effect uh, effect uh, fast evac filters and also the filters for the black and white screen it's mm. from the vintage film here i see yeah so uh what i need to tell to you guys is uh you can uh you can create a evac uh, just from the project not uh you just uh you don't need to like uh get from the other website or other um source just need the just use the resource in the effect house yeah. <laughs> we've got them all it's all yeah. thanks to all of um the community's feedback as well we keep building the tool as um as per your some of your feedbacks and we really thank you for your constant um feature requests like there are uh, our teams actually really monitor those. So if you have any feature uh, requests or any way we can make your AR creation um, much better, then uh, please put them in the forum, which is at community.effecthouse.com. There's a feature request and you can upvote each other. So we know that um, you're, you're all waiting for this feature to launch. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So yeah, after all the things that we uh, already uh, import into the uh, project, there's asset library, uh, there is uh, asset studio. Then we go to the fun part, which is the fist mm -hmm. scripting. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so... <laughs> now everyone's been waiting for the visuals, <laughs> the details of the visual scripting. Okay, let's zoom okay. in. <laughs> okay, okay. So. First, uh, first uh, we can uh, go into the start game, uh, start game group first. There, mm -hmm. uh, so basically here, start the game by record the video. And what I'm happy about, we can like do the live video record here. So if I tap this one, and then the game will start like a recording. And then uh, the game, you have to uh, tap your screen. And after that, uh, there will be a sound of oh. the cap. Can you show us the sound Again. node? The sound node, yeah, here in the sound node. Um, yeah. So um, maybe I'm jumping to the jumping to the tap screen first. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, For so when you tap the screen, you will uh, change the texture and then there will be the audio resource which is play the uh, sound of the meow uh, the meow cat and then it will also uh add the score like increase the score so back to the this one the start game so when you uh, use the video record note and then uh, this is timer for just uh set the opacity of the uh, title text here. So when I uh, record this, the tap, the cap text will uh, will invisible, go invisible. Then, um, then the game will be played. So there is there is a variable called then is play to determine uh, when we play the game. And after the is play is trigger like uh, we uh, set the value into yes then uh, in the screen tab here so in the tab screen and add score group there's there is screen tab and then there is a logic condition if condition which is uh, get from the variable is play so when is play is yes it will go to the true one and then change the uh, change the texture. 
So if I um, maybe I remove this one first. So when I tap the screen, the texture will change from the hap uh, from sad to happy. So this is the happy one. And when I tap again, it will uh, back into sad again. Is it the sound is uh, audible in you, Vanessa? Actually, I I find the cat <laughs> around my around my house, uh, and then, you recorded it live. Yeah, I record manually. Like, go, 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 meow, <laughs> go, meow, meow, go, meow for me. <laughs> You're <a> crazy creative, <laughs> Thomas. Yeah. Yeah, and <laughs> and after that, and you uh, tap the screen after. After you change the texture, you play the sound, and then uh, there is a scoreboard uh, soft grab, which is uh, increase the score. So here there's a value, uh, you have to set the score here, the value is zero, and then the maximum, yeah, you can uh, make it 9,999. And after that, this is the last, the last group here. So there is a timer here. Let me change first. Day. Yeah. So it will be more readable. Uh, so this is the for the timer. Oh, sorry. So this is for the timer. Uh, for the timer, also use this uh, scoreboard sub grab. But uh, the difference is, uh, if we want to increase the score, we use the this is this input, which is the increase score. But uh, if we want to use the timer, we use the decrease one. And also the value for the score is zero, but in this one for the timer, it's uh, 10 seconds. But uh, why I put this one into 1000? Because uh, I, I will show the millisecond also. So uh, just if you want to change the, the timer, you just need to uh, change the the front of it, like uh, the 10 into 15 or 12 here. So uh, don't need to worry uh, the rest of it. So just need to change the front of the value. And then the um, uh, maximum score, I don't think we need it because it decreased the score, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, let me do once again. So when you record the screen, and there's a countdown start. When the uh, countdown ends, it will uh, start the timer here. So if you see, and if I change the value, so just to make sure uh, I uh, the value is correct. So if I change the value into uh, this one, when you, when you uh, record the screen, it will change the value into, uh, oh, sorry. It will, uh, it will change into, yeah, this one, 50 seconds. So you just need to change this uh, value, the, the timer. And then when the timer uh, is less than five seconds, the text will change into orange color. Okay, so uh, next thing. Uh, so I uh, revert into 10 seconds again. And then, okay, this is the condition. So after the the timer is uh, is starting, what is other uh, trying to do is I made uh, a sequence, which is for the game niche, and then for the uh, change the time timer color. So as you can see here, uh, there's a condition which. Uh, when uh, the timer is less than uh, five seconds, or uh, in this case is 500, the color changes into orange here. And then for this one, for the uh, game finish, uh, if the timer goes to zero, yeah, the equal to zero, uh, it will. Uh, it will show the black and screen, a uh, black and white screen, and then uh, show the text also. So this is for showing the uh, filter, and then this is for the times up. 
yeah i think yeah i think that's all so let me uh run the run the event once again mm -hmm. so when we uh record the screen count on start and then we tap as fast as we can and if the timer uh, goes down uh, the time's up text will come up and we cannot uh, tap the screen anymore and uh, there is uh, the screen will change into black and black and white that's it that's really great i think you're I think everyone here knows that you have such great technical skills. Do you have some tips when you're designing this effect? Mm, okay. Mm, I don't think I, <laughs> I don't <laughs> think I'm I'm good at the technical. There's more creator that um uh more have. Go on, skill. give them a shout out. <laughs> Who's your idol in the community? <laughs> there's so there's so many creators uh, that uh has a great. Uh, technical skill uh, from Indonesia, from other uh, country also. But um, I think if I can choose, um, I will choose um, maybe uh, Hero Hero Studio. Hero Studio. Okay. Yeah, from Japan, yeah. Mm -hmm. because he's he's more update from me. Like he's uh, like trying all the features in the Effect House, <laughs> and he's also give some feedback in the. Uh, channel also so it's uh quite helpful for for us as a creator yeah i think um that's one of the benefits of being ambassador you get um to have um yeah there are some perks to it it's including giving the feedback to um for this for the new tool update as well you get to try this yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, Hiro, okay, all right, let's keep going. I think we're nearly there. We almost have an effect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So after uh, all the uh, the nodes are set up, uh, you just need to like uh, trying to um, find any bugs here. Are there is there any bugs here? But uh, because uh sometimes we as the creator as the game creator find bugs in the when the effect is live so uh, mm -hmm. there is so many uh, so many uh review or feedback from the user uh, like from the audience like the your game is bug uh, bug means like uh there is some issue in your mm -hmm. event so uh let's say like the the timer is not uh decreasing or mm -hmm. the score is not increasing or you cannot tap the screen yeah some issue like that mm -hmm. yeah so well good thing now you can update your effects <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah so if you if you if you uh find any bugs in this project you can also uh message me on uh tiktok as well. yeah, yeah this for our tiktok mm -hmm. Um, okay, so we, what's next? Uh, I think that all, all, uh, this is the, these are, uh, the big, uh, the big group of this, the main feature of this game. So let me, let me review it first again. So, uh, first you need to, uh, make how to start the game. For this case, uh, I'm using the video record here with the timer. And then I also set the um, variable called display. Display is really, uh, this variable is really helpful for us to like, uh, to determine uh, when we start the game or finish the game. And then the second one is tap the screen, which is, this is the main feature of the game. We can, uh, we have to uh, tap our the screen tab and like I mentioned before, the display variable is the main core here. So this is for the condition. Uh, and then after that, uh, change the texture of the cat. Uh, one is when the timer lasts then, yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I also see in the Okay, okay. Uh Okay. Oh. <laughs> our beloved our beloved Effect House engineer. That's a very helpful guy in the FX house. So he's creating a lot of sub grab for the creator. So uh, make sure you check it out. Like the newest one created is uh, the joystick one, the joystick uh, sub grab. Yeah. Okay. Let's continue. So uh, after the timer go, goes down. Oh, I cannot hear anything. There's... Oh, okay. Um, and the black is green, I think. Yeah, I think uh, we are. I think we're back. We're okay. back. On. Yeah. All right. Okay. So uh, the last part after the timer goes down, uh, there's two condition. Uh, the first one is uh, when the timer less than five seconds uh, it will change the color and then when the uh, the game is finished which is the timers uh, goes into zero it will uh, change the text uh, the screen into white and black and also show the time subtext i think that's all uh, the visual scripting uh okay yes uh thanks so much bruno and bobby yes the screen disappeared for a second but it's back now let us know if it's not yet Ooh. okay yeah uh yeah uh yeah if you guys have any questions about uh for thomas uh drop them in the comment section um it can be related to this project or his other projects or um even his um the even how uh, his journey on um a fact house creator so yeah um on top of that we also have um accelerator project coming up program coming up in october so this is a program for uh gold uh, platinum um, badges batch creators who want to upskill their um effect um skills so it's basically a six-week program starting mid-october and you'll join a selected group of creators on an exclusive program to learn about making advanced effects like this um tap the cat um and other effects as well as growing your following um and lastly you'll also learn about tiktok and effect house packs practices so if you're interested i will drop the registration link in the comment section and hopefully we will get to see you at Accelerator. Thomas, will you be joining? Yes, absolutely. Because <laughs> I'm the challenge guy. <laughs> I'm also the program guy. Yeah, I definitely will join it. Yeah, um, you have taken a lot of, um, uh, you're in tune with the latest updates. Um, if there's any challenge you participated, you've taken like, um, you participated in most of our programs actually. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> um, and on top of that, um, currently ongoing, there's a challenge for top creator hackathon badge holders. So this is on until October 16. So uh, make an effect, um, pick the, uh, join the challenge, and then you may get a prize at the end of it. I think it's Yay. about. Yeah. Uh, and lastly, if you haven't um, checked out the la latest release, we have target tracking now available. So the possibility, again, I think this will be another game changer where um, target tracking has so much possibility. So um, you can scan, um, you can scan a, an object in real life or graphic in real life, and it will l let you into almost like a portal of um, this um, uh, AR, AR world. So ha Th Thomas, have you actually, have you tried the target tracking? Uh, not yet, but I really love to uh, uh, to try that. 
Yeah, I think the that target tracking be. is like the oldest uh, feature that creators want. Like, uh, um, maybe like uh, we as the creator uh, already already made a request for it. So target tracker will be also the game changing also. Yeah. And um, if you are based in one of these five cities, so San Francisco, New York, Japan, Los Angeles, Paris, and Sao Paulo in Brazil, um, we'll have a challenge coming up where you will go on a scavenger hunt, try mm. to find the um, Effect House sticker, and then um, try to scan those stickers and see where it takes you. So um, there are swag prizes to be won it's serious so you better find them um we'll announce this in uh, our discord channel as well as at uh, the discord uh server as well as our social media channel so definitely like follow if you're not already on discord you better be and if you're not not following us yet it's effect house on uh, tiktok instagram youtube and um twitter so yeah okay um does anyone have any questions for Thomas? <laughs> well, wow, it's 11 p.m. in Brazil, by the way, for Bruno. So <laughs> thank you, Bruno, for joining. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Bruno. I'm I'm asking him like <laughs> yesterday, come yeah. join my, my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, do you have um for any creators starting out in Effect House, do you have any tips for them? Okay, okay. So uh, this is the interesting question, actually. Uh, so I think I, I'm also a new creator because I'm I'm just creating for a year. But uh, for you, just want to uh, create a back. So maybe you can find your passion, find your um, maybe your uh, hobbies. Like if you uh, if you interested. Uh, in beauty evac, you can like um, get the reference from the TikTok, from the FYP. And if you are uh, interested in games like me, you can uh, play a game a lot. <laughs> play a game yeah. a lot. No, 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 no. Just, <laughs> You're a gamer. That actually, people play in on TikTok and you can convert it into uh Evac game evac. Actually, uh, that's the method I uh, used to. Like, uh, I see from the FYP, and uh, is it can be converted into game? Then mm -hmm. I will convert into game effect in the effect house. Nice, yeah. that's a great tip. Um, so we've got some question here, Stephen yep. Wolf. Uh, thank you so much for joining from beginning to end. Um, he's asking, uh, what note have you never used? Ooh, that's one <laughs> uh, question. The wait, let me let me uh, break into the we can go back all to the one. notes. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you can see you're checking all the notes now. Sure. I don't know. I I think I have already uh, try all the notes. Even Are though sure? the note, I, I I don't know what is for the note is for. <laughs> if you don't know what they are for, you should yeah, ask yeah. the community. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's why. That's why uh, we ask the community in the Discord, in the community Yeah. So, yeah, I think I think I have already uh, tried all the notes here. Um. Yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. Um. So we could. Okay. Oh. Uh, recap. Uh. So recap the uh the event. Yeah. Okay. Let me. Oh, hang on. I think the screen um share is. That's okay. Um. So we also have another question from. Is it J. Cool? Uh, from time. Do you make effects full time? Mm, uh, actually, no. Uh, mm -hmm. I have another uh, job. Uh, so this uh, making effect is just like for fun and for like maybe like hobbies from me. <laughs> yeah. 
but from the hobbies, you've won challenges. You've flown yes, to yes. the US. <laughs> uh, there's uh, two ways benefit like, like I mm. got the, uh, I won the challenge also, uh, and also like I can sh um, make other, make everyone happy with the get me back. Yeah. Um, the, okay. I think, um, and what are you working on right now for your next effect? So, uh, actually my, uh, I'm working for, I'm not working for any effect, but there's newest, my, uh, newest effect that I have already, uh, made for. Uh, it's called Helix Jump. If you know uh, the game, if you know uh, drop uh, the a uh, drop ball, and then um, yeah, actually, basically, if you if you already play the Helix Jump, check it, check it now, guys. <laughs> yeah, I will definitely check that out. Okay, so before we leave, I think we can go through the uh, recap one last time about the process. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see it. Okay, so the recap is now you have already know how to make the asset studio, how to use the asset library. So you just need to open the asset studio. You just type the description, and the text will uh, generate it into image. And the other thing is uh, for you. Uh, you want to make some uh, UI, you can also use the asset library here. There's a 2D, there's a material here, and also uh, visual scripting, like uh, provided by the effect house team. And the other thing, I also um, use the scoreboard subgraph here. So just make sure to uh, open the sub scoreboard here and like uh, try to explore the scoreboard here and uh, the project will will divide it into three groups uh, the one is start game the second is step screen the main feature and the last one is timer so here um, yeah you can like uh, follow the the script the the visual scripting here like you can start the game oh actually you can uh, see from here yeah, like this is the um, concept here and then uh, you just follow so this is the first one start game uh, when you record the game and then the countdown start and ends and this is the tap screen when you tap the screen it will uh, accumulate the score and then change the texture and also play the sound the last one is the timer so when the timer is up and there is a two condition here uh the first one is less than five seconds here it will uh it will change the color into orange and then uh, when the game is finished it will uh, change the screen into black and screen uh, black and white and then uh, show the uh, times up text i think that's all the recap I think that's is super clear. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, thank your, you, thank yeah, you. sharing this with thank us. You, um, yeah, I think this brings us to the end of Creator Hour. Um, yeah, thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I know um, some some of you, for some of you, it's late. Some of you, it's early. So, um, yeah, see you in the next Creator Hour, and we will um, share about Accelerator. Um, bye.